was your defining moment that you were, I know this, I know this, I'm Carl Roy. Yeah, I'm Carl Roy. But when it happened? Oh. Um, hard question. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. My grandfather planned um, as soon as he graduate, go to West, uh, go to PMA, then graduate, then go to West Point, go to military school, and West Point graduate automatically your brigadier general. And then come back here, be a center, then run for president. You wanted to run for president? Not me. My grandfather did. But all I wanted to do was play, play make music. I wanted to be me, just me. I was too busy exploring how to be a teenager, a toddler, a teenager, then God, God knows. And I found it. What is your biggest, 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 biggest fear? Fear? Seeing myself um, the mirror and when you see yourself you look at yourself for a long time it's in hours and two hours and then you see your face um, bits and pieces falling crumbling but is it still like the same face that you saw before? yeah but it's older and it's scary I was carrying up a case of beer there and I tell my wife, honey, where can I put this down? And then when I put it down, that was it. Jules, it started drooling here. Then I passed out. I was out of conscious for probably 24 hours. I couldn't move. First of all, I couldn't move. I was in the recovery room. And all you can move is your, my left side. I guess. And this is just numb? Yeah, numb. I thought I was gonna die. When I was in a recovery room. Um, but then, uh, wow, it's a bad trip. One thing I can say, a stroke is a bad trip. Don't they give you any morphine or anything? Oh, give me some. I'll give you some no, during that time. <laughs> they don't do, they don't, they don't give you any painkillers. Seriously? There's no pain. Two doctors, and then one guy was saying, Carl, how many is uh, two plus two? Six. <laughs> I'll answer six. Big. And then um, eight plus eight, uh, 12. <laughs> Why do you keep trying to kill yourself? I don't do it. You, you've purpose. never tried? I don't you do never, it. You never purpose. wanted to kill yourself? Ever? No. Never thought of it? No. So, what is the, what is the secret of your Kutibaya? Katibayan, um, I guess it's uh, my wife. Yeah. Dina. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think it is about Dina that you love so much? What has, what has she taught you? Because she is a she's a big heart, and I can I can see her having a hard time, and I had to help her. She was having a hard time with you. Yeah. <laughs> with me. With, love, love with me. Yeah. Thank you.
Harmony song of this one. I'd say, yeah, uh, because of what I went through, I've, I've said no to scraps. I've said no to um, marijuana at times. I've said no to Valiance at times. I've said no to a lot of things. I, I went through a lot. Twice in the hospital and then, wow, it's almost, it's almost, what defines me? It's what defines me. Yeah. What defines me? What do you think is that one thing you need to survive in this life? People. People. Because I need people to inspire me. I need people to validate what I'm feeling is real. I I have I have to reach out. What what do you have to say to the people who love you? Back here? I'm sorry for being me. For being me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have tried all my life to be to to live their, to live the ideal that they want me to be, but I failed, so sorry that I'm. People say, oh, this guy can't sing anymore. He's done for. Then, here I am, singing again. Yeah. And people say, you can't, you can't do this, you can't do that. But I'm trying to prove them wrong, slowly. The first time I move my hand, this hand, was was happy was happy yeah what is the most like the simplest truth you think there is out there the simplest truth the like, simplest yeah truth? and you what? know it's true because you've been through it it's like the person that pops in your head oh i'm alive cheers cheers yo